Hey, Andrew from Shorefire here. We're out at the Royal Range, Nashville, Tennessee. We're doing a little media event. A bunch of our friends coming out from the media to get some good training with the brand new Turbo Series. We got Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics teaching a little bit of his night fighter course. Uh, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're doing some pistol stuff. We're doing some carbine stuff, shooting around vehicles. We're even doing a little bit of Sims, force on force in the shoot house. So it's gonna be an outstanding week, a whole lot of fun. Stay tuned. So what we're doing here with these riders, we're trying to run them kind of through our night fighter course, except for we're using the turbo series lights. So we're fighting in and around vehicles, uh, barricades, we're stretching the lights out to show the penetration of the turbo series light. We're also stepping back a little bit from the vehicles just to show that we don't get a lot of backlight because we have more penetration and less blooming with that light. So these guys are having a lot of fun and we're going to keep burning it down. Hey guys, Tom Marshall with Recoil Magazine. I'm here with Surefire and Viking Tactics at Royal Range here in Tennessee. We've spent the last two days focusing on pistol carbine shooting as well as CQB tactics, all with a focus on low light to highlight the new performance capabilities of Surefire's enhanced turbo line. So the primary difference between Surefire's new turbo lights and their existing Scout lights in X300 series is that the turbo beam pattern uh, is much narrower with a higher candela to punch further out into unknown terrain. Uh, it also works, we've had really good success with it through vehicles, especially if you're trying to see a target on the other side of a vehicle or inside a vehicle with tinted windows. That tight, far-punching beam pattern has worked really well for us. The other place we've seen really good success with this beam pattern uh, is in the shoot house. When you're talking about trying to get light down a hallway or into a closet, anywhere where there's a little bit of depth, even in a close quarters environment, again, that, that high candela, far throw beam pattern has worked out really well for us. Uh, Clint Magdump Morgan with uh, Classic Firearms out of North Carolina. We are really appreciative of Surfire bringing us out to Royal Range. Some of the training out here with Kyle Lamb of Viking Tactics has been absolutely incredible. Moving in and around vehicles, a lot of the weapon manipulations and also manipulating of the light, especially shooting through a barricade where you start to realize you're not able to see your reticle uh, or even get your light on downrange as well. So trying to defeat that and also make sure that you're getting rounds on your target. Uh, it's a pretty challenging thing to do, especially when you can't see anything when all the lights go out and all you've got is just your weapon light. Hey everyone, I'm Ivan from KitBadger.com and doing some pretty cool training with Kyle Lamb. Definitely appreciate his kind of approach of largely concepts and principles and then giving people the opportunity to run through and then pick it apart and in doing so learning stuff. Hey everyone, Ray Helms with X-Ring on YouTube and we are here in Nashville, Tennessee with Surefire at the Tennessee Turbo Nights. This has been an awesome event. Kyle Lamb has been the instructor here and we've been looking at the Surefire Turbo series of lights, the Turbo Scout light and then the X300 Turbo. Those are awesome lights. They give great penetration, a lot of candela compared to what is out there right now for the X300 and we've been very impressed with it, learned a lot of low light techniques a lot of things that even being in law enforcement, uh, we've never even covered. So a lot of great takeaways. This has been an awesome venue. If you haven't checked this place, you definitely need to check it out. This is Cody on Noir, and I'm here at the Surefire Low Light event. I've used my light in a way that I've never had before. Um, being able to shoot around vehicles, being able to go through a shoot house in pitch darkness. I had an excellent time. Um, I look forward to doing it again, over and over again. Hey, I'm Eric Poole, editor of Guns and Ammo Magazine. So here at Royal Range, you come to a place like this, it's a special type of range because not only do they have your typical square ranges and you get the protection from the elements of the indoor shooting range, but they also have a shoot house facility and provided quality instruction. That actually has a lot of practical application benefits. And then you can take what you learn from this type of education and go home and apply them for your own benefit. Hey guys, Chris Tran at the Royal Range in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, super cool range, really happy to be here and uh, very, very fortunate to be doing some low light work, some vehicle work and some CQB work with the one and only Kyle Lamb. So Surefire's coming out with some really cool lights now. Now I've got to go upgrade pretty much everything that I've got. Uh, really big fan of the new X300 Turbo Series, which is just phenomenal.
wrapping up an awesome week out here in Tennessee. Uh, special thanks to the Royal Range. It has been an outstanding facility to train at. If you're in the area, I definitely recommend that you come and check it out. Uh, it's just an amazing facility. Also special thanks to, to Kyle Lamb. And also thank you to all the sponsors for the event that helped us with the gear. Without you guys, uh, th this wouldn't be possible. So thanks for everybody coming out. Hope you enjoyed it.